incentive as possible of venturing out and doing anything that might jeopardize today's game. Bouchelle airs it out for the first time downfield. This would be a big stop, a three and out potentially here for ECU. Bouchelle has other ideas, has his man, and has the first down. That control the game, control the tempo, and then get the intermediate passing game going. Trying to spin out of the first tackle, blocking for Bouchelle. Looking for another third down conversion. Plenty of time for the quarterback. And Bouchelle in and out of the hand. Bouchelle with a pair of men in the backfield. You talk about that hybrid role that the tight end plays. Bouchelle looking for the home run early on. Tyler Levine is in the backfield. Such an impressive story that we'll get into for that young man. Bouchelle able to dump it down as Page will stretch out. Here's your good old fashioned first and 10 from the 25 for Bouchelle. And again, that is his security blanket, regardless of where he lines up on the field. Games the maximum you could play and still be redshirted. And a nice first down strike. Now to the challenge for the Pirates defense. Can they contain him and not allow the big play? Michelle keeps it. Everything else in your playbook off the read option look. Second and three, they bring the pressure. Page sees it slip through. Everybody doing their responsibilities. It's Pirates secondary with five interceptions over the last four games. Behind him, but it's uh, a first down here for the Ponies. 21 touchdowns this year for Bouchelle, only four interceptions thrown. And a nice confident strike, they'll be just short. They go with Bouchelle keeping it here on the read, and he'll be dropped frame on their third possession. Bouchelle down the middle, wide open for 12, 74 yards and a touchdown strike. Bouchelle will add to his numbers here as he's able to find Austin Upshaw. Play outside and match up man to man. H looking for all the yardage after the catch. That They need to reach midfield. And they will just do exactly that. Out of LaPorte, Texas. And Mustangs trying to pick up the pace. As Bouchelle. Bouchelle has time. Again has his man for another first down. Of course now in year two in Greenville with the Pirates. Shane Bouchelle and the Mustangs picked up that first down a moment ago before a Pirate was slow to get up. Ball is stripped away. Pirates looking to take it the distance and Bouchelle will make a touchdown saving. After being upended, but here's Shane Bouchelle down three touchdowns. Buried back in the end zone. He will not get out and he'll oh fumble. That's a touchdown for this Pirates defense. Oh, no. And now they're going to say it was a forward pass. After further review, the rolling on the field is confirmed. The incomplete wow. pass, second down. Playing lights out here through this first half so far. Bouchelle, quick release. Good team defense today by the Pirates. So nothing on first down, second and 10. Bouchelle under pressure, and they will drop him. Bouchelle, more breathing room, will throw it short, needed 20, that would have gotten perhaps 15. <laughs> no, it didn't. Bouchelle, trying to get this offense up and running has since transferred to SMU and is a the guy they've been able to rely on for short yardage. He stays back to block for Bouchelle here. And Bouchelle just not on the same page with his receiver. Third and 11. I have to imagine this is two down territory. It's a moot point now. First down strike this year, including against his dad's alma mater. And Stephen F. Faustin. That's a swing out to be that postponed matchup against TCU scheduled for earlier this year. Uh, right now, their focus is trying to mount a comeback. This offense has the firepower, but this defense of the Pirates has been on their game this afternoon. That game against Tulsa was essentially the right to be the team to face since the struggling of running the football in the first half made again made them one dimensional. Second and one, trying to find his receiver today in this situation. Obviously, you think of the Mustangs as an air attack team, but they've tried to stay honest with more focus on the running game this year. Bouchelle, all the time in the world, but nobody could get open until finally coming back for the football. 
Play action first down Bouchelle. Bouchelle five touchdown tosses last year in Dallas against the Pirates. Under pressure still had his eyes upfield. They say it's an incomplete pass off the mark passes. Page everything after the catch his teammates blocking up field and then a big 189 yards passing now one touchdown toss. As Bouchelle finds Upshaw. They can pick up another first down inside the four. Bouchelle fires one over Page and they'll say Page was interfered with. Bouchelle under center will rely on a surge from the big men up front. And he's in. Trying to pull it within 30. Bouchelle after his touchdown run back through the air and two points and get themselves in a position where they can get beat deep. Bouchelle gets rid of it quickly. <laughs> Trying to fill that void left by Gray. Bouchelle now the baseball slide and he's averaging 5.6 yards per carry coming into today. He's averaging less than three yards a touch here today. Roberson out earlier in the season. He's not there as well. Michelle dumps it down to Bentley on third down. Bouchelle. Man to man coverage. Bell has a season high. Four catches today. Just had two catches all season. Bouchelle off his back foot puts the perfect loft under it into Bentley. So looking for two points. They keep Bouchelle clean. Had his man, but dropped. A nine yard toss up ahead to Rice. First and 10 from the 13. Bouchelle will dump it down. He's going to try to make that a moot point here. They can pick up a first down inside the three, but Bouchelle is headed the wrong direction. Shane Bouchelle is going to be dropped. And it's a day where one of his favorite receivers, Dre. Shane Bouchelle, two touchdown tosses today, including on the last drive. Throws out of the sun, into the shadows, over to Bentley. Bouchelle stays clean. Bouchelle, blindside, doesn't see the guy coming, and at least hangs on to the football. They, I save that. The ball comes loose, but on the sideline. You buy Air Force Reserve. Defense is out there, and they haven't found a spot for him to play on defense. With the clean purple shirt on, they try to work in a few more bodies, and just nothing going the way of the Mustangs. Buzzsaw, and you never really had a chance to recover, and this offense still just trying to find their way here. Second and 12. Bouchelle took a little pop to the face at the end of all of that. So up towards midfield. And Bouchelle just trying to buy himself time. Almost a tremendous, it is a one-handed snag by Levine, wow. And they're going to let the play hold up as called to catch a fantastic one of that for Levine. One play later, almost another one-handed snag. Instead, a little DPI first and goal. Bouchelle with two touchdown tosses today. And he's going to roll right into the blitz. Still got off the pass, uh. and it's incomplete. You talk about a three-score lead. Well, all of a sudden, you're 15 yards away from it just being a two-score affair. Bouchelle, this time, his receiver upshot does make the catch. 300 yards. It's been tough going, but he's still standing tall and putting this team in position to really make a comeback here. Rice comes back for the catch, and the rest of this game, you're going to see the Pirates. Efficient. Receivers need to get out of bounds if they can. Only trail by 14. Bouchelle eyes the sideline, takes a pop. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And fortunate that is a soft sided medical tent after he goes past the bench. Three and a half to go here in the fourth quarter comeback effort from Shane Bouchelle. Into traffic, picked off. Bell out at the snap of the ball. Can't afford to just dump it down quite as often unless you have a guy on the sideline, and that's an incomplete pass. Second and 10. Bouchelle, no dinking and dunking here. Deja vu. 
Jaquan McMillan, J-Mac. Everything seems to go better when you've got that W over there. The third loss will knock SMU out of the title picture for the American Championship game.